Hi, thanks for stopping by. We are going to be doing a 10 minute calorie scorcher today. It's an AM wrap workout. What that means is as many reps as possible. So we're gonna be doing 10 minutes and a different exercise for each minute and you're just gonna go through and do as many reps as possible. I will keep trying to talk as I get really tired throughout this. It's a good one, you guys, so let's get started. We're gonna start with jump squats, okay? So I have my tennis shoes on for this workout. You could probably do it barefoot if you have a really good carpet or padding underneath you. Have your legs about shoulder distance apart, slightly turned out, shoulders down and back, and when you're ready, here we go. You're gonna inhale, exhale to power yourself up. So here's your jump squat right here. We're going for a minute, and you just wanna pop right off your feet and make sure you come all the way down. You'll see I don't get very high. <laughs> this is not my forte, but I'm doing it. I'm working it because I know it is good for me. <sighs> Just use that exhale every time. You're halfway there, that's 30 seconds. It's gonna feel like a long minute, I know. <sighs> use the power of the arms too to help. So a really big arm swing can really help here. You're doing great. All right, we have 10 more seconds. You'll see me keep peeking at my timer over here. Three and two, one. Nice job, all right. Give those legs a little love. Come down onto the mat. Actually, I'm gonna turn around this way. And we're gonna do crunches for a minute. So you can do your version. I'm gonna have my knees bent with my hands back and here we go, exhale and inhale. So you'll see I'm kind of interspersing some cardio bursts in with our workout that's a little bit slower and more controlled. It's kind of my version of a Pilates high intensity interval training here. Just make sure you go nice and slow and controlled. If you want a little more challenge, you can bring your legs up. So I said we'd be going 10 minutes. This workout's actually gonna take a little longer than 10 minutes because we're just gonna have about 10 or 15 seconds um, in between the transition times. You're doing great. So we have just 10 more seconds here. So you'll see I'm not speeding up, even though I know the time's counting down, I'm not speeding up. Last one. Very good. So we're gonna roll, sit all the way up, come into a plank position for mountain climbers. Hands go underneath your shoulders, legs nice and long. When you're ready, you pull a knee in, switch, 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 switch. So you're switching legs quickly. And make sure and time us here. I don't want to forget that timer. You're keeping the shoulders right over the hands. So you can modify any of these as needed. This is an advanced workout. It's not necessarily meant to have a lot of modifications, but if this is too much for you, you can just alternate and just bring the knees in like that. So any of these, just slow it down if you need to, no big deal. We're halfway there. Exhale every time. Put on some good music if you need it. I'm warming up for sure. And we only have three rounds in. All right, 10 more seconds, you guys. What's great about this workout is you get that huge calorie blast. No matter where you are, you can be traveling and do this in your hotel room. All right, nice job. Up and back. Walk your hands back. Roll yourself up. Great job, we're gonna step your left foot forward. Right foot back, hands on your hips. Inhale, exhale for lunges. So we're gonna do a minute each leg. So let that heart rate start to settle. Ah, this feels so much better to me than the mountain climbers did. Whew. You know what that means? That means I need to do more of those mountain climbers probably. Feel nice and tall, pelvic floor lifted, belly button pulled in, and you want a really wide stance, all right? So I didn't talk about form here to start, but make sure that stance is really wide so the front knee 
doesn't go forward past the toes. The problem people face is knee pain a lot with lunges because their stance is too close. So nice and wide. And if you'd rather turn this into walking lunges, you can if you have the space. Okay, last one. Forward with that foot. Back, here we go. Like I said, nice and wide. Inhale, exhale. <sighs> so push through the front heel to stand up and make sure you're nice and tall on those back toes. So you'll want to be all the way up on those toes in the back. You can definitely keep some hand weights close to you and just hold some hand weights during the lunges for more of a challenge if you would like. Nice job. All right, we have 20 more seconds here. Then we're back to another cardio burst. 10 more seconds. Relax your toes. Let's do two more. Nice job. Foot forward. Roll yourself down. Step one foot back. Then the other one, we're gonna find a plank again and we're gonna do plank jacks. So you're gonna hop your feet out, in, out, in. So similar kind of position as our mountain climbers. Feel really strong in your arms and your hands. See if you can keep the hips low. Try not to come up here. Try not to sink them down all the way to the mat. I'm sweating, you guys. <laughs> We're only halfway done with these. So I love them because you're getting core. You're definitely getting some legs. And then you're getting a lot of arm work with these. So I'm gonna breathe just to remind you to breathe here. We have 15 more seconds. You got it, stay strong. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Oh. Come forward. We're gonna slow it down, but this one's a doozy. Doesn't mean easy. You're gonna come onto your elbows. Step one foot back, then the other one back. And we're gonna hold a forearm plank. Maybe this wasn't the best one to do after the mountain climbers. Nice job, you're 15 seconds in. So if you need a break during these, what you can do is just come up and back with your hips and then come right back into it. You can of course come onto your knees if you need to. So whatever you need to make sure you're holding that really nice strong form and then just come right back in. We have 20 more seconds. Try to slow your breath down. 10 more seconds, you got it. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm burning. Can you believe you can get such a good workout in only 10 minutes? Nice job, knees down, oh, back. Roll yourself back up and stand back up. Skaters, these are gonna feel great after all of that core work, so stand at one side of your mat. Hands at your hips, you're gonna hop over and over. So there's a few things I'll talk about here. I will time you. Couple options. Hands can stay here at your hips, or if you wanna get the full motion in, like you're speed skating, bring the arms down. Now, if you need more of some balance help, just tap the foot when you come over. If you want more of a challenge, the foot goes behind like that, and it just hovers there. You're doing great. We are halfway there. Now for more of a challenge, come down, touch the ground. So that's gonna get more hamstrings. Just make sure you're keeping your core lifted and your back as flat as you can so you're not just rounding forward. 10 more seconds. We're so close. We only have two more 
rounds. Two more minutes of work. You can do it. But they're not easy. <laughs> Three, two, one. Nice job. So that's really great for the outer thighs. Come back down. We're going to do plank. We did an elbow plank hold. You can do it. We're going to do a full plank hold. Find your plank. Again, your choice of your version here. Just make sure you're really nice and long from the crown of the head, through your tail, down through your heels. I told you I'd start breathing heavy. <laughs> Elbows are slightly bent, just make sure they're not locked. Slow down your breath. If and when you need a break, just like on elbows, you just come up into your down dog. You can come back or you can come onto your knees right here. How are we doing? We only have 15 seconds left. Then we have our final, final burst. I saved the hardest for last. You ready? We're going to burpees here. So when you're ready, you're going to jump forward. Jump up, come down, jump back. Forward, up, down, back. So to modify, you just step, stand, down, and back. Okay, so you can do this as slow as you need. If you wanna make it harder, when you come back, add a push-up. Then forward, up. So you'll see everything we've done till now kind of let us here, 30 more seconds. You got it. You probably look a lot better than I do doing this. I'm gonna keep working on my burpees. Forward. I feel my quads. Two more. Forward. Jump. Back. Forward. Jump. Hands down. Oh, holy moly, you guys. Good job. Now if you want, do that whole thing again and that will be an amazing high intensity interval workout. I will see you soon.